Are you tired of feeling overwhelmed and stressed out by school? Don't you wish you felt more like this? Well, what I'm about to share with you can help. Writing argumentative essays is a skill you will need in high school, college, and beyond. The purpose of an argumentative essay is to use logic and solid writing to convince your audience to think like you do about a certain topic. So, let's get started. If I were to ask you to name the first part of an essay, what would you say? If you're like most people, you'd say, the introduction? But the truth is, the introduction is just the first part your audience will encounter. It's actually best to write it after you've already written most of your essay. The first part of an essay is like the first part of a house. When you look at a house, the first thing you see is the outside but it's one of the last things the builder does when constructing a house. So what is the real first part of an essay? Well, just like the house, the first part is an idea. As a student, your idea might come from a prompt. A teacher is giving you a challenge to write about a specific topic. In the future, you'll have your own ideas that you would argue about and write about, and you can communicate and convince other people to see things your way. After the idea, a house starts with a plan, and so should your essay. Now that's why, when Kanye West invented the writing process, he started with brainstorming. When you build a house, you ask yourself questions like, How big do I want my house? How many rooms should it have? What kind of kitchen? Yada, yada, yada. So, when you get ready to write your essay, you need to ask yourself some questions. What is my main idea? Can I support it? What would someone arguing with me say? Can I roast them? How long should it be? How will I make it interesting? Answering these questions will allow you to create an outline. Now, if you have a blueprint for a house, you really need to stick to the blueprint. Otherwise, you might end up like this. The outline for an essay, however, just gives you a general direction. It's like a recipe for making a sandwich. Bread, jelly, peanut butter. But you get to decide how much and what type of each ingredient you're going to end up using as you go. The recipe for an argumentative essay is the same. It should, in, it should contain these things. An introduction, body paragraphs, which would be your points, their points, why their points are dumb, and maybe some more of your points, and a conclusion. But don't start with the intro or conclusion. Write your body first. It's important to remember for an argumentative essay that you need to make your points, identify opposing points of view, and then destroy those appointing points of view. There are lots of different ways to put these thoughts in order. Sometimes it makes sense to give your points, then their points, then destroy their points, and then finish. But sometimes it's better to save your points for after you've shared opposing points. It is up to you to decide how to order these ideas. I usually do my outline on scrap paper because I end up scratching ideas out and moving them around until I get things where I want them to be. I also often just use the words intro and conclusion instead of actually writing anything in these spots. If you have an outline, you've completed step one of Professor West's Writing process. Brainstorming. Kanye West approved. Now, let's move on to the second step, drafting. This is when you put all of your ideas down in writing. I like to write all my body paragraphs first according to my outline. I try really hard not to edit or revise as I go unless I write a sentence that's just terrible, or I think of something while writing another section and add it in. This step should go pretty quickly if you had a solid outline. After writing my body paragraphs, I will write either my introduction or conclusion, depending on how I feel, and then I'll write the other one to complete the first draft. It doesn't matter which one you write first, but this is the best time to write them. Boom! Step two, done. And after Kanye invented steps one and two, he gave us step three, revising. 
Revising is when you go back and think about your ideas. Do they flow together? Does it make sense? Do you want to add any thoughts? Is your introduction interesting? I've been known to move entire paragraphs around, delete paragraphs, rewrite them, and add evidence when needed to support my ideas. Now remember, you're writing an argumentative essay, so you need to evaluate the strength of your argument. Did you really convince your reader? Did you support your points with evidence? Did you point out your opponent's points of view and then explain why they're not as good as yours? Once you feel like it's as good as it's going to get, you move on to step four. What's step four, Dr. West? Editing. In this step, you fix punctuation, spelling, and other technical issues like format, works cited, etc. This is your final step before submitting your final product. This is the last thing you're going to do until you hit step five, which is publishing, you turn it in, the end, everything's done.